Hi, and welcome to this brief demo of the white box tool. Today we'll be uh, taking a higher res pillar mesh and base mesh and uh, replacing some box targets. So the first thing we want to do is select the high res pillar we have here and go ahead and click uh, store object or the store the source model. <clears throat> It'll give you a little prompt that tells you that the object was stored. Now what you do is you select the target objects, which would be these boxes right here where we want the pillars, and click the Replace Targets button. You can see that it matched the scale, rotation, and translation of the target models. Now we'll do the same here for this uh, top and bottom mesh. Go ahead and store that, then select the targets and replace the targets. <clears throat> now we can actually use this whole mesh to do the same sort of thing with the same tool, we can go ahead and combine this mesh into one into one single mesh. And then I'll load up a, a boxed out scene here where you can see I have um, added just some boxes of uh, different uh, scale, rotation, translation, just to show you that we can quickly create a little environment using the same base mesh. So we'll go ahead and replace the targets with that base mesh. So you can see it matched scale and translation and everything. And if you don't want to match all of these, there's um, checkboxes within the tool that allow you to uh, decide whether you want to match the target translation, match the target scale, match the target rotation, etc. So we have another little scene here. Um, this is basically a destroyed little city. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and select just the pillars and translate our pillars to them. And we'll do the same with this other mesh. So you can see you can quickly create uh, environments using a very limited amount of meshes just by whiteboxing it all out first. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoy this tool, and I hope it, uh, you can create some amazing things with it.